Hi, welcome. Today I would like to show how you can uh, use uh, with React the Axios library to uh, as an HTTP client for uh, React. So let's get started. Basically, I have a React app and I'm going to be working on the component posts. And if you look at the component post, for example, in the constructor, it basically sets the state to be post, which is an empty array. And that's all it does. And it's just uh, showing something. So let's modify this. What you want to do is uh, essentially import Axios from Axios. And uh, that's all I'm doing right now here. And the other thing you want to do uh, before that is to make sure you install Axios. So once you have Axios, what you can do is in component did mount, you can make a call to the library. And uh, make the call to the library is pretty straightforward. Since we imported Axios, we can invoke a method on Axios object here. And uh, we will just call a get. And uh, to do the get, I will just use an ARL URL from JSON placeholder where you can just get some fake data. And I'm going to uh, just uh, use this URL get on the post. Uh, here's an example. And you can also visit that website and I'll add that. It's a good website for just experimenting with things. So I'm going to do and get on that. And it's a promise based API. So then what you can do is you can just run then on it. And here is a, essentially a response. And for now, what we're going to do is just uh, log the response to see what it looks like. And uh, I'm also going to catch here. And that is also a function. So let's say some kind of an error. And uh, we can also log the error console dot error and we can log the error object and when the component mo mounts that's what we are going to do so let me just save it and see how that works so if you look at the network for example i'm going to clear the network pad and the console so i'm going to switch uh, urls here and go back to post so at that time you can see that it did make a get request and uh, we got an uh, um, data is where our uh, information is, it's an array of 100. And you can actually check the data, see it has a user ID, ID and title, similar to what was being supplied in the API. So that's actually how easy it is to uh, do this thing. So to demonstrate, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off for a second and see if we can uh, catch some kind of an error here. So I'm going to, essentially take off my internet connection here see what that does and uh, let's uh, replay the same thing again here so here you can see we got a network error on get and uh, so you can see the get failed and we got a network error so it's as easy as that to uh, uh, try uh, to do this thing to make it a little bit more useful, what I'm done is uh, I'm going to essentially uh, take the five posts, for example, here. Instead of logging a response here, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me just show it to you. Uh, I'm just setting a local variable posts, and I'm taking response data five of those, and we are changing the state to posts. Now all we need to do is uh, display it over here. So I have some code to easily display that. So what I'm going to do is uh, just copy that so that I don't uh, waste your time typing all this information. And let me just uh, format the document here for you. So what it is doing is it's saying display post is equal to post.map is an array. We are mapping. You take an X and we are returning some JSX, which is basically a paragraph. Key is the ID that we get in the post and X is the title. So we'll be basically displaying the titles, five titles. Uh, and to do that, we just need to be able to use this uh, display posts. And that should do it. And let me make sure that I uh, turn on uh, connection, internet connection. So bear with me for a second while I turn on the internet connection. So my internet connection is now on 
and let's see uh, what it does. Uh, let me just clear it and flip and change it back to post. So here you can see the four, five posts are uh, easily displayed and here is the network connection. So it's very easy to actually use uh, the Axios uh, with React and typically what you want to do is in component it bound use it and then uh, change the state and that's pretty much all you need to do and you may need to use other life cycle hooks also depending on what your requirements are hopefully you found this to be useful and uh, what I'm going to do is in my website I'm going to uh, under react axios uh, and I'm going to post this video there thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day